Welcome back. So now that we've made our beautiful class here, let's try to use it inside our program so we can start maybe printing something out. So first, remember the public here in class. I'm going to show you why that is important. Let's, let me show you how to make a new class. We know it's going to be of the type car, right? But since we made a namespace here, we have to explain to the system where we're actually getting this car from. So the first thing I have to do is I have to say using and then the name of where I can find my car, right? And then I can write car. This is the car class and I can call it the car equals new car. So the new keyword is important because now we take a blueprint, the car class, and convert it into the car object. So this is a car class. This is this guy, the blueprint. But as soon as I use the new keyword, I tell memory, this is the blueprint. Now open a space in memory where we can fit in a car. So it needs to have room for a make, a year, license plate, da 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 da, da and it needs to fit in there. So now there's actually an object space ready in memory for the car. Okay, so now we have an object of the type car. Let's start giving it some information. We can do that in different ways. Let me show you this way first. We can add a color by saying here, it should be red, the car. We can add a license number that should be a C, D, K, K, B, D, D, B, D, 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 D. I don't know a license number anyway, so. We can also to the car add a make that should be uh, Ford. That's a great car and we should also put in a year, the year of 2001. Okay, so here we have a car created now. This is a specific object, meaning that here blueprint, here an actual object in memory, here an object in memory where we start populating the different areas in memory, right? So now we can, the last thing we can do is just try to console lock this car. Console right line and then we want to write the car to string. Let me just start out by writing the car's color just to show you um, that we can actually write that out. Remember to set this as startup project and let's just add a console read line there we go and doodly do and then let's try and run this and see if it actually prints out red which is the color of the car. There we go. Okay, so we could also print out the other guys. So let's just try and do that just to show you. Uh, let's take the license. Notice this is IntelliSense helping you. So when I press M, it pops up with everything and I can just press enter because there was only one make. What else do we have? Year, right? So let's just print this now, see if it prints out all the different numbers. Everything seems to be running. We are happy gophers. So let's just stop this. So that's it for this lesson. Now you've actually tried to use a car blueprint to create an actual car object and print it out. Next lesson, we're going to try and put in some methods and try to make constructs and stuff like that. See you in the next lessons.